Kia ora, bros and girls. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with chapter two, map one. Here comes the tumbling down. And um, it's uh, basically gonna be an Ultron. So we're gonna carry on with our uh, little four star challenge. And uh, when I see Ultron, I know immediately that the person I'm gonna get is Medusa because Medusa is an Ultron killer. And I'm going to bring Black Bolt and uh, Karnak for synergy. Do I don't really want Karnak? Uh, probably not really, actually. Um, uh, yeah, I do want Karnak because he will give me plus 25 attack at the start of the fight. Um, I could bring Wolverine as well, just for a little bit more crit. And uh, now I'm, I just need somebody to clear lane. So how about we run with uh, Corvus, Domino, mm, Aegon. How about we go with Hyperion? All right, sounds good. So let's carry on. We've got a Hyperion, we've got a Medusa team, and uh, we got Wolverine as well, which can regenerate. So aspect of evolution, probably not gonna go down that path. Uh, plain vanilla, uh, Bane of Timbala, and then split into three, which is Bane of Timbala still. Brute force with the degen and life transfer. So um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably just gonna go plain vanilla for now really, because um, it's probably the easiest and the quickest, and then we can just get straight through to the boss and see how he does. Uh, I'll use Wolverine for this one. So, um, this is pretty fun, man. This is like a bit of a throwback to the old days when I did use to use Wolverine um, heavily for map 5 quests. And uh, yeah, he was an animal, man, back in the day. I used to use him all the time, and then now the game's all about 5 stars and 6 stars and crazy nodes and uh, he doesn't really have that much of a place in my alliance roster anymore but you know what he's still um, he's still one of the best regenerators in the game and one of the best bleeders in the game and uh, it's just so much fun to play so yeah come to me uh, you know what what we'll do is we're just gonna breathe them out and then we'll throw that SP Three, which normally you don't really want to do, but anyway, he <laughs> he died just uh, being afraid of the claw. Look at that. So we'll carry on. Um, what's next? Next up is Hood. Um, yep, we'll carry on with that. I think we'll take Wolverine again. Don't don't really want to give them the the class advantage. Should be a pretty easy fight though, so long as you don't push him to his SP uh, two. And just keep evading the FP1. It should be really easy, really straightforward. Step back from the shock, come back in, bleed him out. So yeah, man, like a like a fully ranked Wolverine is is a great content clearer. Uh, he's not he's not the greatest for every no type, I guess. But um, you know, so long as so long as he's viable, he's a pretty good option. He's not as flashy as the old, uh, as all the new champs, but as an old champ, he's very, very durable. Great healing, great bleeds. He'll just last forever at a hundred percent. And yeah, makes um, makes clearing the maps quite easy. I know a lot of people prefer to use Blade nowadays. Um, I prefer to use Aegon personally because I, I, I care I care more about damage than durability. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with durability, I don't think. So carry on. Take care of Taskmaster. The great thing as well is with the bleeds. Um, they fall pretty quickly for uncollected. And you don't really have to evade too much. You could probably just 
block SPs and outreach in them, you know, which is something you can't really do with, with a blade or an Aegon or whatnot. So I'll just block that. That's fine. And look at that, I'm back at 100%. Now, of course, if that's bubble shield or, you know, Dijin on hit or some unblockable SP1, it's a different story, but uh, there's a bit of lag there. It's not a problem. Even if we take a few hits, it's okay, because we can just regen them. There we go, that takes care of uh, Taskmaster. A couple of hits there because of the lag. My phone does this sometimes, um, recently actually, like, I think it's, um, because I'll be recording and stuff will be happening in the background and I, it'll just get like a, like a one second lag and, yeah, it's not fun, it's not terribly fun. Um, so, now we can use Wolverine, we can use Hyperion, I'll probably use Wolverine. So this one, he is a bit of an evader, so we're just going to do parry in three hits. This is where Corvus comes in uh, nicely for clearing because he can pick up a charge there and get through strike and this becomes a, a non-fight really. But when we're playing with Wolverine we have to be just a little bit careful. Oh, there we go. We get hit. That's all right though, we're regening pretty well. And we'll push him to his SP2, which is actually easier to evade. And he bleeds out anyway, he's dead, so there we go. <coughs> that takes care of him. Um, all right, so let's carry on. Carry on to the path. Get another evader, which is uh, Spider Gwen. And, uh, yeah, well, why not? We'll carry on with the Wolvie. Anyway, if he dies, we can use Hyperion, but um, for now, we can carry on. Alrighty. There's that evade. And what we'll do is we'll just stick to light combos after that dash in, because that's quicker to recover from, particularly if she evades, which she is definitely going to do. Evade that SP, get in there, keep up with those light attacks. Yep, we can pacify her, carry on. Look at that, we're almost back to full life. This is the thing I love about Wolverine, man, is you can make so many mistakes and it doesn't really matter. Oh, so now I just got to be a little bit careful and play here on on the evade. And that takes care of her. Uh, I mean, not the greatest fight, but as you can see, even with evade, um, we can regen back a tremendous amount. And even at 12% there, you're not really ever thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to get taken out. Uh, now, we don't really want to fight Dormammu, though, with uh, with Wolverine. That's going to be a little bit problematic for us. Um, so, what I might do is... I might take in Hyperion for this guy. And uh, the key here is to not really try to dex, dex um, Dormammu, because then you're going to get that degen. And I'm having him because I don't actually want him to build power again. I just want to get to my SP3 as quickly as I can. And then I can throw that. And that way I can minimize the degen, the degen damage. And I don't really want to evade his SP2 uh, either. So. Um, He's already down to a lot. 
I'll give him another heavy. And now I'm taking Legion damage, but it's okay because, like we said, it minimizes um, the degen. And then that takes care of him. Of course, if he had Blade in this case, it, it would be a, a pretty straightforward fight as well. Um, okay, so now we go on to the... Uh, I want to say the main event, but it's not really the main event. It's just um, it's just Ultron. And he's the mini-boss for um, this one, for Chapter 2, Map 1. Um, so if we have a look here at his nodes, he's got uh, plus 90% armor. Power focus to SP1, so increased power rate up until uh, SP1, uh, and it's unblockable. And then every 30 seconds, our attacker power is drained. And if he, when, when, and if he gets the region buff, uh, he becomes unblockable. So at 50%, at 25%. The good thing is though, we have Medusa. Medusa is going to armor shatter him, and she's going to completely shut down all of his abilities. Uh, and as such, he's not even going to regen, and as such, he's not even going to become unblockable. So it will just become a really, really easy, straightforward fight. And um, he's not even going to have power. So we might have to evade a couple of SP1s here, but, you know, that's okay. So that's all right, we'll just take that. And now we're going to armor shatter him. Uh, we just have to make sure that we are going to evade an SP1 here at some point, but right now he's gaining no power we drop him below 50 he doesn't get any region he's not unblockable so he's ac absolutely not an issue for us we carry on with that throw the sp2 and very 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 easy fight um so yeah medusa works here uh nebula would probably also work um Anyone who can uh, nullify also would work. Um, Symbia Supreme, he might be able to nullify that region buff. Uh, so the main problem is not really the region. The main problem is if he becomes unblockable, it becomes a little bit harder for you. But if you do have a Medusa, which pro hopefully by now he should, uh, this becomes a very, very, very easy, straightforward fight. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Kaki te ano, bros and girls.